Check this out, y'all. There's no competition when the knowledge and the acclamations and the progression in life all revolves around levels, you know, steps, you know, um, pushing through the video game levels to make it to the next level of progression, just like a video game. I told you guys we are in a simulation, okay? If you ever played Mario Brothers, if you ever played, what's my shit, um, um, Shinobi, right? If you ever played Mortal Kombat, if you ever played, um, Street Fighter, if you ever played Sonic the Hedgehog, the, um, Duck Hunt, all, any of those games, if you think about those particular simulation realities, it's the same thing that we're living in now. That's how we can make a holographic world or a holographic universe is actually being shown to us from the aspects of movies, from the aspects of um, different simulations far as in, um, y'all remember Haley's Comet, right? When we was young and we went to the Discovery Place and they had a spaceship that was a holographic example of how that spacecraft would look out of space. Well, well, what makes you think that it's not the same here on this planet holographic platform that we are on? We, like Pac said, <laughs> this is all a setup. We're being tested. Um, we are all here to serve whatever divine purpose, divine mission, robotic type, systematic type matrix induction. I don't know, but all I know is that this world was put together for us to live out some specific thing that God want us to do or to bring together or to bring harmony to. To me, we are, we are, we are the fucking robots. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, because these bodies are just what I want to say. Um, they're avatars. They're a cover. They are spaceships. Because what's inside of you is what moves the body, what motivates the body, the soul, the spirit, right? So if you think about it, if you're, if there's a material that doesn't have a soul, what is it? It's a soulless body. It's a non-robotic body, all right? But we're not even going to get into all that. The main point that I, the main reason why I made, why I made this video is because when people see U.S. competition, when we are built to be our own Mario brother, our own Princess Zelda, our own, you know what I'm saying, um, what's her name, uh, Chung Lee, right? When you are, you supposed to be mastering yourself, not trying to outdo somebody else. And that's why there can never be a competition because when you focus on yourself, you outmaster yourself and can't nobody else outmaster your master, which is you. If you concentrate on yourself and don't worry about what other people are saying or doing or implementing in your energy, then we all we will all have a more pleasant, what can I say, um, animated walk in life, animation. Because when, like I said, how I look at things is from a projection which is my mirrors, which is my eyes and whatever I'm, I'm seeing or whatever I am imagining, <laughs> imagination works. The movie theaters get this. We are thinking and we are using our projections to project out to bring about whatever specific outcome we have. You are the director of your life. I'm not going to go all there, all the way there with that message, but you get what I'm saying. When everybody focus on their specific levels on becoming the best version instead of focusing on other people uh, levels and their progression and their accolades and their mastering skills. You could get the same thing in your respective field if you focus on yourself. So don't get lost in the sauce, guys. 
because we are the line of the division. We see between, we see between the division. Okay, guys, for, for us who see things from a higher perspective, don't get lost. Stay on your path and continue to, you know, shed light, become that beacon for your community who you supposed to come, who you supposed to be uh, representing, whatever the case may be. My message for you today, guys, is stay in your own fucking lane, mind your own fucking business, be, be M-Y-O-B, like my brother used to tell me. <laughs> Or when he used to, he got it from me and he would always like throw it back in my face when I used to be up in his business. He'd be like, M-Y-O-B. And what does M-Y-O-B means? Mind your own business. So everybody can get to mastering. Ever Everybody can get to leveling, leveling up. Don't nobody got to hate on nobody because everybody got their own gifts, abilities, and talents. Everybody has something special that they can tap into and create. I don't understand why people hate, but if you become the master at what you, whatever that guy got for you, then you too will feel that feeling of abundant and feeling fulfilled and feeling whole. And so, like I say, guys, be grateful and be just happy that you are blessed with what you got because your talent is the most best and the most fluidly <laughs> way that you're going to be able to move fluidly throughout life. All right, so y'all know what the fuck I was trying to say. Chad. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and float like water. I love you guys. Peace.